What's up, everybody? Uh, so it's been a couple of weeks uh, since my last video. Uh, got hit with COVID pretty hard and um, just did nothing for a couple of weeks. Just laid on the couch and just tried to recover. Um, didn't buy anything during that time period. Um, one of the things, it just sapped all of my energy and uh, basically said to myself that when I get back uh, feeling okay again, uh, that I was going to do my favorite video to do, uh, regardless of the fact that I've done it five other times <laughs> on this channel, which is to do my top uh, first I was going to do my top 50 uh, best cards in my collection. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to do my top 100 cards in my collection. It's by far my favorite video to do. Uh, by the way, with COVID, um, hit me really hard. Guys, stay safe. Um, you know, do what you got to do. Take care of yourself because um, it definitely kicked my butt pretty badly. But uh, now I'm feeling okay. Uh, and uh, figured I'd uh, do a, an awesome video for you guys. So uh, basically the way it worked uh, for my top 100 is I used, I signed up for um, VCP, uh, Vintage Card Prices, uh, which is a really great site uh, for just kind of putting all of your cards in. I, put, I ended up putting almost 400 of my uh, best cards, my graded cards into the system. And uh, basically what it gives you is the, the last price. And the beauty of it is it pulls it from eBay. It pulls it from uh, all the different auctions that are out, auction houses that are out there and finds the latest price for that particular card in that particular grade. So I used uh, VCP. Uh, and then if it wasn't in VCP, which happens a lot for modern cards, I used eBay. And then if it wasn't in eBay, in some cases, I had to kind of come up with a price. Uh, so without further ado, let me, uh, I'm going to go through my top 100. I'll probably do 100 to 51 in my first video and then do a second video of uh, 50 to number one. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any new big cards, uh, but it's really kind of cool to see some of the uh, the ups and downs uh, especially based on the last video that I did about a year and a half ago and see where those cards are on the list. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy. Again, one of my favorite videos to do. Let's get started. All right, guys, so let's get started. Um, some honorable mentions in the background. Um, obviously, this Dots Miller card is one of my favorites in my collection. Uh, didn't quite finish in the top 100, but... Uh, did get uh, was in the top uh, 101 to 105, and um, honestly, it probably deserves to be in the top 100. But I, I tried to when I put this list together, um, not give my opinion. It was more based on just pure facts. Uh, you know, looking at the latest card prices, and of course, you know, this card may have finished in the top 100 if you think about if you consider the eye appeal and all that other stuff. But and at the end of the day, I just went with just okay, you know, sorted from uh, 100 to number one based on uh, latest card price, price values. Uh, so at number 100, um, I was really happy that this finished in the top 100 um, and at exactly number 100. It's one of my favorite cards, and I, I'll probably be saying that a lot throughout this video, uh, but the Mike Trout 2019 Tops Mike Trout Sapphire Edition. Uh, picked this up. I think I got it for like 40 bucks. Let me see. Uh, picked it up for oh, $68 and um, and uh, sent it in to PSA, came back uh, just with my latest PSA submission, came back as a PSA 10. And I just love uh, this shot of Trout and uh, love the, uh, the Sapphire cards. And um, there you go, number 100. Um, at number 99 um, is the uh, Jacob de Grom. Uh, this is the gold version. The Topps Chrome Gold version. By the way, I'll put um, the latest price. Um, hopefully, that'll be helpful for you guys and get an idea as to what these cards go for. Just keep in mind that you know, for for this example, um, this is the gold version. This is the PSA 10. So, in order for it to be that value, it has to be a PSA 10. It has to be the gold version. Um, and then you can see here, this is numbered to 250. So that's the Jacob de Gram Gold at number 99. At number 88 is the Carl Yastrzemski Rookie. Uh, this is a card that I picked up at the show in White Plains a couple years ago. Um, bought it ungraded, uh, then sent, sent it into PSA, and it came back as a 5. Um, I think it looks a lot better than a 5. 
Um, and I'll, another another phrase I'll probably say over and over again. Uh, just a beautiful uh, rookie card, 1960 tops, Carl Yastrzemski at number 98. At number 97 uh, is this Mickey Mantle, the 61 tops Mickey Mantle in a PSA 3. Uh, this one I got as part of a lot. Uh, so what I did is I bought a thousand vintage cards for $2,000. Uh, I got all kinds of commons and uh, superstars. As you can see, Mickey Mantle uh, came in that. Um, the only problem is that all kind of came in like these uh, just a box of cards with no nothing, like not even in penny sleeves. Uh, so I didn't expect a lot of these cards that I sent in for grading to come back with high grades. And as you can see, this one came back as a PSA 3. At number uh, 96 is uh, this card, uh, the Mickey Mantle, the 64 Tops Giants Mickey Mantle. Love this card. Uh, this came back as a PSA 8. Uh, again, also got this one ungraded. Bought this at the National in Chicago. I was walking around... Uh, with Baseball Collector, who, by the way, um, myself, Baseball Collector, Ilico 3, three and Ty uh, will be getting together um, on a um, just a kind of a recurring uh, video where we're going to talk about um, we're going to put together a twenty five thousand dollar portfolio, kind of a made up portfolio and kind of see how we do over a six month period. It's going to be sort of a competition. It should be fun to watch. Um, if you guys are interested, uh, you might want to tune into the Bench Clear channel to check that out. Uh, but anyway, uh, got this with Mike, baseball collector at the National in Chicago, and uh, bought this ungraded and came back as a PSA 8. I also got the Clemente, and that also came back as a PSA 8, um, which I actually like the Clemente a little bit better. Uh, but this card um, is the only card that fit into that top 100. All right, at number 95 uh, is the Aussie Shrek T206 in a PSA 6. Uh, beautiful looking card there. And um, you can see uh, there's a little bit of uh, print on the back. Uh, you know, I, I noticed that just the other day. I'm surprised this got a PSA 6, although it might just be bleeding through. I, I noticed with a lot of like vintage cards that uh, the front of the card will a lot of times bleed into the back. And so it may, that's just a natural thing you see with a lot of vintage cards, but still a beautiful card, especially from a little bit of distance, <laughs> Aussie Shrek in a PSA 6. Um, all right, at number 94, um, and this is, yeah, this is a card that finished, I, I referenced before a, um, a video that I did about a year and a half ago, um, and so of course there, there have been pickups that I've made since then. Um, and I did a top 50 and this card was number 39, uh, on that list. Uh, so it's down 55 spots to number 94 from that video I did about a year and a half ago. Um, and obviously Stanton, um, at the time was like, you know, it was a big deal. You know, I just signed with the Yankees. Uh, but of course, since then he's, uh, had a lot of a rash of injuries that have kind of kept him off the field. And um, although he did have a nice playoffs um, this this pla this past year during the COVID year, but uh, beautiful card there, Giancarlo Stanton in a PSA eight, uh, the X Fractor version. Um, at number ninety three uh, is this Steve Carlton uh, Fritz Ackley uh, in a BVG seven, nineteen sixty five tops. Uh, at number let's see ninety two uh, is the uh, Yogi Berra the fifty. What is this? Uh, 56 tops Yogi Berra. Not like I, <laughs> like I, I should know 56 tops by now. <laughs> uh, this is the Yogi Berra. This is a beautiful card. Look at that. Um, Pick this up ungraded again at a, a show in White Plains. This is when I first got back into collecting and I cement, uh, submitted it to uh, Beckett and they uh, gave it a 7 out of 10. So a beautiful card there of Yogi Berra. Um, and at number 91 is uh, this George Brett rookie uh, in a BVG7. And uh, similar, I think I had this, yeah, this is a card that I had sort of growing up um, and came back as a 7. And um, let's see, was this, this wasn't even in my top 50, um, but uh, it was probably somewhere right around outside of the top 50 when I did my video about a year and a half ago. But beautiful card, a uh, card that doesn't get as much hobby attention as it should, um, but the George Brett rookie. Um, okay, uh, at number, 
Let's see, we're at number 90 uh, is the Tom Morgan from the 52 Tops high numbered set uh, at number 90. At number 89 is the Barry Bonds. Now this is a card that I expect will um, go up a lot this upcoming year. I think there's gonna be a lot of talk about Barry Bonds. Uh, you know, while I'm at it, I'll just show the next card in the list. So the two Barry Bonds cards, uh, let's see, the Fleer came in, coming in at 89 and the Topps Update traded coming in at um, 98. So these are the, the two Barry Bonds. Now, the, what I'm saying is that I, I just expect the Barry Bonds probably to go up a lot uh, throughout the year. There's going to be a lot of talk about whether or not he belongs in the Hall of Fame. And then ultimately, if he does get in, um, his cards will probably see a nice bump. Um, this being the last year of eligibility uh, for Barry Bonds. Um, at number 97... Uh, Roger Maris, speaking of uh, guys trying to break the single season home run record, uh, the Roger Maris card. Uh, this one I bought, again, ungraded. Uh, bought this at the White Plains show and came back as a PSA 4. Um, this card is a brand new card to the collection uh, from this year. I uh, picked this up, David Ortiz. Uh, uh, speaking of Hall of Fame consideration, I think he's due... Uh, to be um, ha be up for the Hall of Fame, not in 21, but I believe in 22. So I picked this card up kind of in preparation for that. Um, so that's David Ortiz's rookie card. Um, okay, at number 85 is this Griffey 89 Bowman Griffey in a PSA 10. Absolutely love this card. Would love to pick up the Tiffany one day. And uh, if you guys are like me, uh, you probably stuffed... Your Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, 89 Bowman cards in, uh, you know, uh, the nine pocket holders or a penny sleeve and uh, all of my, eight, all of my 89 Bowman Griffey rookies besides this one are in really bad shape because they just got banged around a lot because they didn't fit in the holders for crying out loud. Um, all right. Next up would be um, the Bill Ripken FF error. <laughs> And you can see on the, the barrel of the bat, one of my favorite cards uh, from uh, the 80s. Uh, Got to be my favorite error of all time, uh, the Billy Ripken error in a PSA 10. Um, next up, the 1970 Tops uh, Nolan Ryan at number uh, 83 uh, in a PSA 6. And then at number 82... And uh, 81 is the Johnny Bench rookie. And at 81, the Clint Frazier, my man, in a PSA 10. Now, this card I probably could have put up higher. Depends on, like, this is one of those cards that's really hard to know where it fits in. Um, you know, Frazier has been kind of uh, up and down. Uh, and that's <laughs> the, the nicest way of putting it. And then, of course, you have the Johnny Bench rookie, which this should clearly be more valuable than that. But... That's just how baseball cards work. All right, guys. So dropping 52 spots to number 80 <laughs> is the Gary Sanchez. I'm surprised to see this even fit into my top 100 at this point. Um, just having a brutal year last year. And then there was the questions about whether the Yankees were even going to re re-sign him. He did get uh, re-signed uh, by the Yankees. So at least another more year of Gary Sanchez. <laughs> Hopefully he can figure it out. Um, had, just had a brutal year last year. I, he did still produce from the home run and RBI side. But I, I, I can't. I think he finished under like uh, batting 200. It was ridiculous. Uh, tough year for Gary Sanchez. Um, number 79 uh, is this T206 Jap Barbal. Um, there were a bunch of T206 cards um, in a PSA 6 that did not make the list. I don't know why. Now, the, the, the problem with these <clears throat> vintage cards is that there's so few sales that all it takes is one sale and a particular card will jump uh, on the list. Uh, but this card, the Jap Barbal, I guess there was a recent sale that got it. Uh, to number 79 on my list. Uh, at number 78, uh, this is a card uh, that's new to the list uh, because I picked it up, I think, last year. Uh, bought it ungraded when I was in Minnesota and sent it in. It came back as a PSA 8, which I thought was awfully generous, and I mentioned that many times. <laughs> um, didn't feel like, you know, this is, you can see it's off grade, off center, although the corners and edges are really nice on this card, um, but it came back as a PSA 8, and I was really happy about that. Um, number 77 is uh, this Christian Yelich. Uh, speaking of guys that had kind of a tough year last year, uh, Yelich not having a great year after the um, 
almost MT MVP season the year before that. Uh, this is a 9.5 um, Bowman Sterling um, with the auto and a 10. Next up is the 83 Tops traded Daryl Strawberry in a PSA 10. Um, I believe this is uh, new to the collection since my last video. I, I picked it up last year when I went on like an 80s binge, uh, picked up all kinds of 80s cards. Um, at number, let's see, at number 75 is this Mike Trout opening day in a PSA 10. For some reason, the 2012 Tops uh, PSA 10 Trout did not make the top 100, but the opening day did. So I don't know why. I guess it's the, the limited supply, but the uh, opening day card 2012 Trout is going for more than the Tops Trout, which I always thought was interesting. Um, at number 74, uh, one of my favorite cards of all time. Uh, this is the 2007 Tops Jeter, I uh, just think it's really unique. Uh, you got Mantle down there, and then of course George W. Uh, over there in the stands. Uh, really cool shot of um, Derek Jeter from 2007 Tops in a PSA 10. Um, next up at number 73 is this Red Amis in a PSA 6. Uh, this is the Piedmont card, 350 to 460 subjects. Obviously, the front looks a lot better than the back. Uh, next up at, let's see, what are we at? We are at um, number 72 is this 53 Tops Satchel Page in a BVG4. Uh, for some reason, I bought this in a BVG holder. I, there are very few cards that I uh, bought in a BVG holder. But for some reason, I think I got like a really good deal at the time on this card. So I got it in the BVG holder. Uh, still a great looking card of uh, Satchel Page. Uh, and then at number 71 is the 2001 Upper Deck Tiger Woods card. Uh, I picked up four of these uh, at $200 a piece, um, but obviously just put one of them uh, in my list at number 71. Tiger Woods, the Goat of Golf. All right, guys. So at number 70 uh, is this Willie Keeler, Wee Wee Keeler in a PSA 3.5, dropping 28 spots from number 42 in the video that I did about a year and a half ago uh, to number 70. Really cool New York Highlanders Willie Keeler portrait. At number 69 is the 60 Tops Mickey Mantle. Remember picking this up with the Willie Mays. Uh, this is the, uh, also from 1960 Tops in a PSA 4. Uh, this drops 21 spots from number 48. Uh, in my top 50 video from about a year and a half ago. Uh, 82 Tops, um, Ripken. Uh, this is a card that, uh, let's see, was this on my list? Uh, yeah, I had this at number 50 when I did my video. Eight Down 18 spots uh, to number 68, the Cal Ripken rookie in a PSA 9. Um, next up is this Bo Jackson, uh, Tiffany Love this card. Uh, Bo Jackson, Tiffany, and a PSA 10. You guys may remember I, I uh, bought a set of 87 Tops Tiffany and submitted it. And uh, my, the Bo Jackson that was in that either got, I forgot, either got like a 7 or an 8. So you can imagine how difficult it is to get a 10. Uh, this one coming, this one, I bought this as a PSA 10. The Bo Jackson Tiffany. Uh, next up from the uh, uh, number 66 from uh, 84 Don Russ is the Joe Carter rookie in a PSA 10. Always remember that huge home run to win the World Series uh, in the uh, when he was with the Blue Jays. Uh, 84 Don Russ, uh, here he is with the Cubs, the rated rookie. Look at that. You know that obviously they changed the way Don Russ ended up changing the way the way that they did the rated rookie, but this is the old school version of the rated rookie. Um, next up, the Sapphire, number 64, uh, the Glaber Torres Sapphire in a PSA 9. This is one of those cards that's a little bit hard to figure out where it should sit in the list. I might have this a little too high, uh, but um, I do have this coming in at number 64. Uh, beautiful card. Love this uh, Glaber Torres card. Um, okay, next up is this uh, Hank Aaron from 55 Tops. This is a second year Hank Aaron. Obviously, his rookies from 54 tops. And um, this one, uh, this was part of that lot that I was talking about before. Uh, came back as a 3.5. Beautiful card uh, from 55 tops. 
Uh, at number 63 is this Thurman Munson from 1971 Tops. Uh, one of my favorite cards uh, of all time. And a lot of people talk about uh, the Pee Wee Reese card um, from the 50, I believe it's 51 Bowman set. Um, and this is probably one of my favorite shots of all time. The 71 Tops Thurman Munson. Uh, and this one is a six. Um, at 62 is, again, another Glaber Torres card. Uh, this one um, coming, I remember I bought this raw, came back as a PSA 9. Uh, this is his Bowman first back when he was with the Cubs. Um, of course, the Yankees pulling off that uh, that big trade to get Glaber Torres. And this one came back as a PSA 9. And uh, at number 61, um, the 62 tops Lou Brock PSA 6. Uh, rest in peace. I, I bought this as part of one of those leaf uh, buyback products uh, where you buy it and you don't know what you're going to get. And uh, this is what I got. I got this card, uh, Lou Brock in a PSA 6. Beautiful card from 1962 Tops. All right, guys, at number 60 uh, is the 84. Uh, well, down, let's see. This is down 19 spots to number, uh, it was number 41 to number 60 is the uh, 84 Fleer Donnie Baseball um, in a PSA 10. Uh, at number 59 is the 64 Tops Mickey Mantle in a PSA 6. I think at one time, I think my first video that I ever did, I believe this was number 2 in my list. Uh, now it's number 59. Uh, so down 24 spots from my last video to number 59. Uh, number 58 uh, is the 86 Don Ross Jose Canseco in a PSA 10. At some point this year when this card was going crazy, this would have been a lot higher on my list, but uh, it's come crashing back down. Uh, but still a top 100 card, uh, number 58 on my list. Uh, number 57 um, is the Bryce Harper Gold in a PSA 10. You can see here this is numbered 1111 11 of 2012. At uh, number um, 56, again, it's hard to figure out these uh, T206 card, uh, but I do have this one, Frank Oberlin in a PSA 6. Beautiful card. Um, Piedmont 350. Um, and that is at number 56. At number 55 uh, is um, Don Mattingly's first card, his first minor league card, the 81 Nashville Sounds. Uh, team issue uh, in a PSA 10. Beautiful card there. Arby's. <laughs> kind of a cool card. America's Roast Beef. Yes, sir. Donnie Baseball. Um, all right. At number uh, 54. Um, this one's funny because um, a lot of people gave me a hard time for saying that uh, Aaron Judge cards are a, uh, that he was number five uh, of any uh, player uh, that had a rookie card from 2017 to 2020. I had him at number five. And this is exactly why, guys. This card is at number 55. And all it is, is it's just a base auto Bowman Sterling PSA 10 Aaron Judge card. Uh, I have this listed um, as much as $650. And it's a Bowman Sterling. It's not like it's even anything special. Uh, going for six hundred and fifty dollars uh, in a PSA ten, so it's just collectability, guys. Um, Greg Maddox uh, at number fifty three in a PSA ten. This is the Tiffany version. Uh, really, really cool card to get. Uh, this is one of those cards that I was dying to get for the longest time. Finally added it to my collection last year, uh, coming in at number fifty three. At number fifty two, a card that probably should be a lot higher. Uh, this Mike Schmidt card in a BVG 8. Again, another card that I got ungraded, submitted, and came back as an 8. Um, and at number 51, uh, this will wrap up my um, 100 through 51 video. And I will be doing another video from number 50 to number 1, which should be really epic. Uh, this card is, uh, the latest value I have on it is $740. Um, and it finished at number 51. So you guys know that number 50 to number one uh, should be pretty awesome. Um, and there it is, number 51, the Derek Jeter Stadium Club Murphy and a PSA 10. Great shot. He looks so young in this picture. Look how young Jeter is in that. Um, really cool card. Um, 
So that's it, guys, uh, from 100 to 51. And stay tuned. Very soon, I'll be doing number 50 to number one. Thanks for watching, guys. I will talk to you later. Peace.